you're joining us uh, for today's online masterclass. We're just waiting for a few people to join. So if you'd be bear with us for a, a, a few moments while we wait for people to come in. I can still, we've still still got lots of people coming in. Thank you. Lots of people today, Kiriko-san, for you. Oh, that sounds nice. <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to this. Really so not forward. many more than six people. Many, many more than six people. <laughs> 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 because why I say six, like my friend said, this restaurant had a lot of kind of some specialty for shrimp and a lot of shrimp there. So I asked her how how many, and she said thinking about bit and six. So from that point, my uh, a lot or less is more six. than six is a lot. <laughs> more than six. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, we're still waiting for, for a few more people to join. We're both in London today, aren't we, Kiriko-san? You, yes. you are in London, yes? Uh, I'm in North London. Yes, okay, yes. And um, yes, I'm at Japan House. I'm in the, in the library. And the weather is beautiful today. Yeah, it? it's nice today. Okay. So I think we have probably, yeah, we're pretty full now. So yeah. thank you very much. Welcome everybody to this, the second in the series of Japan House online masterclasses uh, with manga artist Kubo Kiriko. And today we are looking at inking manga patterns uh, with Kubo Kiriko. We are going to learn um, about the different types of line-based effects, such as shu chu sen, which is focused or concentrated lines, uh, tate sen, which are vertical lines, and nawa ami, uh, which could be translated as as rope net. Um, we before we start, let me just run through a few housekeeping notes. Um, Please note that if you're joining us, your, your microphone and webcam will be disabled for the entire duration of the event. And we'll be accepting questions throughout and holding a question and answer session at the end. So please do submit your questions through the Q&A feature. Um, one of the Japan House uh, members of staff will, will, will be moderating these questions and, and, uh, and will be able to pass these on. Uh, you can send your question with your name or you can send it anonymously if you want to. Uh, please note that you should be seeing this with the videos of Kubo-san and, and, and me on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side you should have uh, the screen. Uh, Kubo-san will be uh, sharing with us uh, uh, some some slides and also uh, will be demonstrating live for us as well the drawing so please do draw along at home uh, if you would like to okay thank you very much indeed um, Kubo-san it's an absolute pleasure to, to to have you again thank you so much um, my, my name is Simon, Simon Wright. I'm the programming director here at Japan House and, and I've known Kubo Sanda for, for, for some years. And I, it's, I can't say enough how, how important you are as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a manga artist. And we're lucky enough to have you living with us here in London as well. So thank you very much for joining us. You, you were born in Tokyo originally. Uh, yes. Yes, we were just talking about tradition and 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 Japan and and the, the Edo and and Tokyo and 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 London, and you you've been living in London for some years now, but you continue yeah, to be, twenty years, and you continue to be a manga artist. Yes, luckily. <laughs> so, which which I which I find is wonderful, especially for us now to be able to compare the situation we are with a lot of activity happening online, but you've been working remotely in the UK 
submitting your work to Japan for, for, for many years now. Yeah, I think it's actually, I sent my original, uh, original work to Japan by uh, a private courier service, but uh, um, it cost and also it's delay sometimes. So it's quite risky continue to do that. So also the, the uh, publishing side is changed, gradually changed to digital editing. So I changed to the, uh, not sending the actual artwork is changed to the, send to the, um, them to a, a data. So, but uh, when I came here 1996, I can't send the all things by email. It's like a 250 megabytes is maximum. So it's a bit too small. So I, we decided to digitalize. Okay. And, and, and that's how you've been able to continue working in the UK, constantly being able to send to your editors in, 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 in Japan. Yeah, uh, like a, uh, as a process, I doing the digital kind of main line, and I ask to my, I mean, send to my work to my uh, to my assistant in Japan, mm -hmm. and she kind of uh, helped the like a paint black or uh, like a shoot you send. I would show you today that kind of thing. So, and so it's kind of a good combination because we have a. Uh, time lag. So when I finish, I just send her uh, the data and she send me back the, the completed one. And uh, in the morning, so it's kind of, uh, it's working well in uh, different countries, I guess. Yes, Tokyo is what, eight hours ahead of us at the moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so for everybody, thank you. Um, for everybody who, who who's watching and for those who may not know already, um, Kubo-san, um, you, you started your career uh, in, the, in the 80s and you had a huge success with Shiniko History Hour and Imadoki no Kodomo. And after you've, you've directed animation films, designed book covers, written essays, children books, children's books, other manga comics. Um, Buckets to Gohan was an animated television series in 1996. Dobutsu Uranai has been running, ran from uh, I think just about 1999, is that right? For yeah. several years. And I think one we're very lucky to have in London is that you you undertook some uh, a series of design projects in UK hospitals, yes, including the Evelina Children's Hospital and uh, yeah. the Children's Department in St. Thomas's Hospital as well. So if 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 anybody is is in is in those hospitals, you, they will be able to see your your work. Uh, yes, it's uh, maybe must be a patient because uh, children's hospital is quite strict for the unknown person without any clear purpose. So even me, I explain, I want to take a picture of my work here. I must get the permission to the uh, uh, hospital side properly because, you know, they protect children quite strictly. Mm -hmm. So that it's 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 for the children. That I think yes, the point the point of your 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 designs there are are for the the, the patients, the children who are in the hospital in order to. Uh, yeah, it's kind of first one is uh, like you said, Evelina Children's Hospital inside of Saint Thomas Hospital. You mm -hmm. know the opposite side of Big Ben. Yes. So uh, it's kind of uh, what can I say? <laughs> I I. I lost. <laughs> so um, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's, if you go into the Evelina Children's Hospital, you can see the reception and also have some um, clinic and uh, indicate to the elevator is using a uh, wayfound, wayfind? Wayfinding, yes. So yeah. it's the wayfinding design for-, for Yeah, for... how to, uh, which direction you can go is kind of using uh, manga style because uh, why they use manga style? Because uh, more than 50% of patient is uh, older than 10 year old. So if it's focused to like a cutie, cutie, small mm -hmm. children feeding, 
it's a bit embarrassed them. So they thought it's a manga is it's good for the you know maybe young adult also, and also friendly to the small kids. It crosses all ages. That's an important thing to say. Your your characters are are, are familiar and 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 appealing to 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 all ages. Yeah, it's a kind of purpose is uh, they feel kind of friendly, comfortable. That kind of things is I'm happy to do that. The job is quite proud about that. It's a great project. Mm. We're very lucky to have them there. Thank you. Yeah, it's lucky actually for us. I think so. So without without further ado, shall we shall we shall we shall we crack on with today's uh, oh, yeah. <coughs> demonstration? I know you're going to do a quick recap. Yes, from uh, yes, maybe several people are. Uh, I mean more than six people <laughs> joined the other time. So maybe they already knew that, but maybe new people also are uh, seeing this today. So maybe I will kind of uh, explain quite quickly, shortly. So it's a firstly, you know, making a story and uh, the, the things I do not directly to storyboard. It's like a bit like a script type to mm -hmm. write down this page fast, uh, flame, uh, the character saying this, and second flame, uh, the other character say like this, or you know that kind of script type. Because the reason I do now before I just directly to do a uh, storyboard. But if you change, you kind of way, uh, do that again, even, you know, you kind of skip some pages and just do that the page, but it's a, the flame is, one flame is different. Sometimes you must rewrite again. You understand that. So it's quite um, a lot of work, also uh, a lot of waste of paper. So I started to make this script type. So I can kind of uh, add or uh, delete or easily. So if it kind of seems okay, I will go to next step is a uh, um, storyboard. Mm -hmm. So you can see the storyboard, you know, it's my one, it's very simple. You can see the character and the position and also a uh, speech bubble. And uh, it's like a blueprint before making a house. So it's quite important uh, process. And you can see um, it's effect or not, it's working or not, or you want to make a bigger frame or you just uh, make just a small normal frame. And so you can doing kind of uh, like a bit like editing film, making before making film. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, cartoonists will uh, usually do this. And also is uh, it's a making storyboard is quite Good, a, important things because uh, we can see something which you made, but you kind of turn back and it's really okay or not. Also, uh, like you can say, um, uh, you can see your what her first kind of draft is objectively, and also uh, this one we will show to our editor. It's meaning editor can check, they understand, or they don't think it's working, or, you know, they are like editor are kind of fast leader for reading your story, my story. So it's kind of, they can judge it's working or not. So it is is very important process for us. And uh, I think it's, uh, I can say this is most important uh, part rather than actual drawing because if you make this, you can calculate how long you can take to complete it, your work because 
um, you can kind of calculate is if if you like, a, for example, you have a deadline next Saturday or Sunday, and if you have this now, like uh, today is uh, Wednesday, so maybe you have a uh, three days, so you can calculate. But if you don't make it yet, you can't calculate anything. So the cartoonists have a deadline uh, for us that is quite important. And also uh, I can explain about, uh, we say this storyboard called Nemu in Japanese. Mm -hmm. Nemu is come from name in English. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's come from, uh, you know, professional world for the printing field. It's in a speech bubble, you can see the line. And we, we made a line for the actual drawing, but uh, uh, when we do um, Katpan Insatsu, uh, it's a letter press, it's an editor uh, that uh, sees uh, our line. And uh, how do you say, um, they kind of making uh, kind of things to the printer to this uh, letter is the which kind of typeface or size to like a dialect to the printer that is come come from that the na name is a specific specify yeah specify to the printer is a meaning of name okay so, so this is how the editor decides what the the typeface is is going to be to or is writes the instruction yeah like uh, you know they understand is a context of the story so they kind of maybe sometimes it's uh, something we want to focus I and mean, cartoonist and the editor want to focus at bigger line or thick line i mean thick uh typeface mm -hmm. or bigger typeface so mm -hmm. that's kind of uh handling uh, editor does so it's a specify name that the size and uh, typeface is their work, but it's the name come from that Na name is come from that name. <laughs> it's kind of name name is a bit confusing, but uh, so it's a come from English word. Okay, thank you. So uh, so when you complete the name the, the uh, storyboard. Mm -hmm. We do pencil drawing. And uh, unfortunately, the image you see, it's not the previous kind of uh, storyboard one because we do like, uh, uh, how do you say, it's doing making line and making flame and write down um, uh, the word inside of the bubble speech bubble by pencil mm -hmm. and uh, and also doing the pencil drawing after that I erase uh, after inking in so mm -hmm. usually yeah so it's kind of after erasing so could you back to the uh, yeah pencil drawing so that part is not exist after that so this is come from another uh, kind of pencil drawing with kind of uh, uh, decide the layout. Kind of this pencil drawing uh, uh, process, we sometimes I change from storyboard because if you, you know, for example, uh, for example this uh, speech bubble rhyme by pencil, sometimes you feel too much and it's better to divide it. So in that case, you change bit, but not change the story. So we kind of second editing in this moment. Okay. And this yeah. is called Komawari. The Komawari, yeah. Frame division. Different frames of, of, for the story. Okay. Yeah. So it's so after pencil drawing going to ink in, inking 
And uh, so now is you don't see any pencil rhyme. And, uh, you know, I scanned the uh, storyboard and so, and keep that, keep that to send my editor or keep for myself. So doesn't need to be on this uh, image anymore. So I do send separately mm -hmm. in my process. So after inking, uh, going to effect, and it's the same drawing you can see. I just uh, uh, use the same drawing, and but you can see the some line, the bottom to to frame of the bottom, and uh, write down something, and its meaning. After inking in, I ask to my uh, assistant in Japan to do this one, not me. So it's indicated for her. So this, these, the, 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 the instructions in, in, in red, aren't they, in the bottom right hand side? Yeah, it's because if it's uh, black, it's kind of mixed with the uh, actual line. So I always use a different color pen. Mm -hmm. And there are also in green as well, I can see that. Yeah, right. yeah, because it's adding. <laughs> I kind of forget to ask the first one. So if it's the same color, it's confusing mm -hmm. she did or not. So kind of adding uh, some message in the different color is indicate is new. Okay. And and so your your assistant, you've you've worked with your assistant for for quite some time, I believe. That, that that's yeah, right. I think it's uh, uh, longer than thirty years. It's quite long. It's kind of spend a lot more than family sometimes. So so you 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 have the the same assistant as you've had for for thirty years or so. And uh, yeah. You send your work from London to to Japan. Your yes. assistant in Japan. Yes. That's, that's yes, she, she's living in Japan. And. Then she she will she will do what she needs to do to the to the to the work. And then does she send it back to you for for? for yeah, comment? by data. So like uh, I explained a little bit. Like uh, like I finish my part like in the night and send that to the the data. And when I wake up it's there, it's completed. So it's quite <laughs> useful for us to have some time lag. Difference. It makes me, for me, I have, our, our meetings are always in the morning <laughs> with Japan. So that's, yeah. without, because of, of course, it's the end of the day in Japan. And, and yes, in, in fact, for us as well, it's, it's, it's been something that we've always been doing. So working, mm. working remotely like this. Yeah, and it's uh, this, time lag is working well. Otherwise, you know, she must wait if it's the same timeline and uh, mm -hmm. even I could go to bed, she can't go to bed. So mm -hmm. I think it's good for both of us. Yeah, it seems to work very well. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, so the effect is uh, the uh, things I will explain today. Okay. Yeah. And so, ah, oh, there's the finished drawing. Yeah, it's kind of similar. You can see the bottom too. It's after effect. You know, the first and second flame. It's just to put some uh something. It's made by a uh, computer, but uh, this is uh, you can do by hand. And uh, I think it's uh, now there uh, manga software also this kind of effect. But uh, when I try to use that, it's in a it's kind of very very fast time, so it's very heavy. So I didn't like that for mm -hmm. myself, so I didn't use. So I still using um, Photoshop. Mm -hmm. So I don't know about the uh, software so much about uh, new one manga software. Okay. So, so it's kind of today's demonstration is firstly, um, Shuchu Sen is consented line. 
and uh, it's it's I think it's this this kind of effect is I can say it's not essential. I mean, some people don't doesn't use, but also at the same time, it's very Japanese, I guess, to compare to other countries' cartoon. We use this a lot. And uh, uh, it's kind of helped the readers understand the situation yeah. in a way. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of concentrated line is usually used for, um, you know, focus something you, uh, focus something, something uh, you want to show. And uh, it's sometimes it's like a feeling, like a shock or pressure or really depends on the context it's changed, but uh, it's kind of helped the situation understand to, to uh, help to understand, help the leader to understand the situation, I guess. Mm -hmm. What, what sort of situation is it used for? Uh, for example, uh, shock okay. or pressure mm. or something, you know, some quite impact feeling. Okay. Of, and also not if it's a, a thing is not person, maybe to the people's uh, view to kind of leading to that object or situation using that. Okay. So, uh, so shall I start to uh, show the actual things? Yes. Demonstration. Okay, thank you very much. So the concentric line, we need a like a vanishing point. And uh, usually I use uh, this pen is called G pen. Mm -hmm. I think it's a Japanese company, Zebra. We said Zebra, but Zebra is a company. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a good thing is you can kind of use pen uh, kind of using uh, strength. So if you push strongly, it's thicker line you can draw. And also if, if you less uh, power on your grip, you can draw some thinner line. So like uh, if it's a line has some, how do you say, uh, strong and uh, weak, it's useful. Like uh, I can show some sample. So it's a uh, with pen and ink I uh, use in this situation. And this is a uh, what do you say? Punishing point. Mm -hmm. So can you see this kind of thicker and thinner? you can kind of control easily by pen. But uh, if you don't have that, you can use like uh, this MIDI pen is you can get in England or I don't know other countries, but. So it's also you use your strengths and make um, thinner in the end, but uh, this pen's one is more, you know, strongly showing that. So I can use a thicker pen, like a, this is 10 millimeter pin, uh, pen. So I can make strong and thinner, but uh, 
So if you if you've got your pens at, at home, please do please do join along. Yeah, <laughs> but actually, you know, the draws one is how do you fit your drawing. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing to kind of rude. You must use, you know. You can choose as you like. So I prepare some drawing and some effect to show. It's kind of uh, the concentra concentrated line. I need a, a vanishing point. So I just put here. So why is blue? Because this one not on the print, actual print. So people use that. You don't need to erase later. When it doesn't come up in the in the printing yeah. process, yes. When it when yeah. it's copied, for example. I think it's kind of basic situation is really a lot on uh, uh, letter press. So now is a uh, change. The printing change to more uh, offset printing. So I don't know so much about off offset printing. So, but uh, I was told uh, blue is not visible. I, I remember. I remember. Bef yes, indeed. Before, before computers, um, some time ago. That of course, when when you, we were photocopying artworks, um, and yeah. like, there would be blue grids which didn't uh, didn't come up on the on the on the actual print. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's actual copy. So it's a kind of same effect. So I put uh, blue uh, vanishing point. Also, I just. Uh, Lovely, uh, draw some kind of. How do you this say blue, this blue pencil you're using? We have, we have a, we have a question from Shangamola. Um, is is the blue pencil a special pencil or just? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's just, uh, uh you know, just uh, some color from twelve color pencil case, or you know, I I don't know feature one, but. Uh, it doesn't need to be some special, just the blue. Your, I can see that your blue pencil is quite dark. Oh. I remember, I remember light blue pencils being used as well um, mm. at the time for, for engineering drawings and-, and oh, I see. Right. So it, 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 I can see that yours is quite dark, so it, it doesn't mm. seem to matter, does it, that color either? Maybe it doesn't matter so much. <laughs> so it's kind of a laugh line here so I don't need to erase later so I started to concentrate line to concentrate to the vanishing point It's strange to very quiet. You can talk something, Simon, or somebody ask some question. Okay. Well, I, what what I'm interested in is that you do you do do you do this normally yourself, or is this something that you would ask your assistant to do? Yeah, usually I will ask to my assistant. So I don't do this listen tree at all. But still, I remember how to do that. I, we can see definitely. I, 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 it's it's the basic grammar, isn't it? That that that, that it's like riding a bicycle, maybe. Yeah, well. yeah. If you remember, I mean, if you you done, you remember easily. We have one question from from Zara. Um, mm -hmm. You're saying hello to Kiriko-san. What kinds of paper do you use? Uh, actually, I use the paper uh, from um, like uh, for manga, and uh, you can find that in uh, art shop. In uh, I think in London, easy to get. But okay. I think it's the manga is quite generalized inside of UK. So maybe if you go to art shop, you can get that. It's, uh, I think it's a 
you can get IC paper. Yeah. Is it quite it's, smooth or is it? does it have a texture to it? No, I think it's quite smooth. Like uh, this kind of part I can get in the art shop. Yeah, it's called Aishi Ink. I think if you draw some, like uh, if you do coloring by hand, you need a different type, but this uh, ink is quite flat, not bumpy to comp like a, you know, watercolor on this very bumpy surface. But this is quite smooth. bit fail. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it shows how much concentration and, uh, well, these are called uh, created lines, but it, it shows no. patience as well, yes? And, and yeah, just patience. And even you fail, you can use white to mm. kind of erase. Mm. So if the point is not on the print, it's okay. You can kind of do anything. Sometime before, before the computer, if somebody completely fail and difficult to fix, they made that only that frame and cut and, uh, you know, paste, paste by paper on the paper. We have, we have another question actually, before we, we go on to the finished drawing um, of this one. This is, a, this is again from, from Shangamola. <laughs> who's who's uh, asking the spacing between the concentration lines mm -hmm. are there different uses or meanings in changing the spacing between the, the lines uh yeah sometimes i do more like uh, more line or the, yeah i think it really depends on how much you want to show so maybe really depends on the context so this is quite simple, basic one, but if you more dramatic way to show, you can kind of make uh, more line or less line, but uh, thicker, or it's really, actually it's really following your feeling, your sense. So you must judge how you want to show that drawing. It, it makes sense. Well, well um, Shangamola, does it make sense? If you, uh, <laughs> it makes sense to me, definitely. Um, I, I like the way that you're explaining here that you as the manga artist are very much in tune with the character that you're, that you're, that you're drawing and therefore how that character expresses it, the emotions um, on, on the page you're in control of that and you're you're the one who feels that yeah it's it's like a really yeah i just can say only it's feeling because even the same drawing is a different line is a is a different effect mm -hmm. should, should we should we show the the finished drawing and and, and maybe yeah. go on to the, to the next we have a Completed one. Yes, we have a completed drawing here. So it's kind of showing something he find or somebody focus on him or it's really, like I said, it's context. It depends on the context, but it's kind of focus on something. <clears throat> thank you. Shangamola has, has, has written, <laughs> written back and says, thank you. Yes, indeed, that does make sense. Thank you. <laughs> thank really you. Interesting. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Shannon. So the next one is Nawa Ami. We, yeah, it's kind of rope net line. And uh, it's kind of effect is like a more 
uh, how do you say, is something anxiety or irritating okay. or jealous or depends on the con uh, context, but it's usually it's quite negative feeling, okay. I guess. Mm -hmm. Not happy feeling at all. So I can demonstrate. And I have a I love everybody that who's watching that this is this is wonderful that we're able to to see you at work, Kiriko san. This is this is the first time you you've you've shown. Yeah, I don't do that usually because it's quite you know not easy work for cartoonists to be seeing somebody when they're working. So no, well, thank you very much indeed. This is this is it's very, it's very special. Thank you. So uh, I just uh, making some basic, uh, like a position of the line. And uh, using some pen is quite uh, how do you say the pen? Uh, we can make a line, very, very thin line is useful. So uh, I used this pen, it's called Maru Pen. It's also the, the company called Zebra. Mm -hmm. So it's much for the fine line. And if you don't have this, maybe you can use this zero. 0.5 millimeter pen mm -hmm. and I think you can get in England <clears throat> so starting this from the uh, how do you say to the center and start it to from a uh, less line and and it's going to more and uh, thicker I guess Oh, sorry, this one doesn't work, so I will change to the head. head. We, we have a question here about controlling ink, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Any tips on controlling the ink quantity on the pen nib? This is from Mina Ikemoto Gosh. Um, uh, controlling. Mm. She, she no. said, um, I either put too little on the pen and I can't draw long lines, mm. or I put too much on and when I pull the ruler away from the line, I smudge it. Yeah. I is think it's uh, just to get the proper amount of ink on the pen is really practice and experience, I guess. Okay. Yeah, if it's a too much is kind of problem and too less also problem. Mm. So just to you know, changing the angle is the direction of the paper itself. You're making short lines, yes? Is that, that's... Yeah, short line, not long line, but it's kind of continuing. Continuing is... I mean, of course, going back to your question, uh, Mina, about about controlling ink, it would have been it would have been extremely common up until not so long ago in the twentieth century, for for people to have used uh, ink pens daily uh, at school uh, for, for for writing. We we've, we've probably lost that practice haven't we as a as a daily activity of of dipping dipping a pen in in, in ink in order to to write yeah yeah i agree i think so 
but I think it's uh, you know is a different too. It's a different texture. So maybe some people really like actual tools like this. You know, it's maybe different from it's ready-made uh, like uh, manga effect on the <clears throat> your data. It's a different from you draw by pen. And I think it's not wrong or right or good or bad. It's really like, how do you feel? And also how it's much with your drawing, I guess. Hmm. I think there's a, there's a certain emotional attachment to using a tool, I think, like a pen on paper, mm -hmm. something. There's a reaction of some kind, I think. The physicality of it is... It yeah, I think it's a kind of, you, you know, if somebody doing digital things a lot, suddenly they want to go back to more like an analog type sometime. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, yeah, that's, a, that's a, a, a general a thing across many media, I would say, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Mina's written back to us saying, thank you very much. Thank you for, she'll keep working at it. <laughs> <laughs> We have a tip as well from, from, from Adeliza. Uh, yes, to control the ink on the pen, put plenty on, but then dab your pen on a firm surface and then dip again regularly, not forget yeah. to dab. You know, sometimes drop on the uh, artwork. <laughs> I think it's uh, also doing by hand is quite therapeutic. I would say yes. I would say I mean, so. Mm -hmm. Feel like uh, you know, writing Hanya <laughs> Shinkyo. Ah, okay, it's the rep it's the repetition, isn't it? It's the it's the yeah yeah repetition. It's different from uh, like a concentric line, I think. But this one is kind of a. Con, uh, how do you say, constructed by a small line and just to do uh, without thinking so much. I wonder if it's possible to, to, to can we zoom in a little bit perhaps? Uh, yeah, okay, just minutes. Because we can, we can see the effect from, oh, thank you. Oh, goodness, yeah, fantastic. Oh, little, there we go, yes, thank you. So we can see, Wow. I understand now why it's called Nawa Ami. Yeah, it's like uh, making rope. It's like a net. Maybe if we can push it up a little bit, sorry, so that we can... A bit yeah. more up? A little, that's it, yes, thank you. That's oh, so... Okay. Thank you very much. We have a question from Emily. What, um, if you could maybe say say again, what, what do these wavy lines do for the character? At what part in a story or comic would you add these wavy lines? Yeah, I think it's, uh, like I said, it depends on the context. Mm -hmm. For example, I can uh, give you some sample, like, uh, somebody show something nice thing and if he feel jealous about that is kind of he is jealous feeling or um for example if somebody says something to him and he doesn't like that and that is his reaction like uh not uh how do you say um complain by words, but feeling is really, really against about that. That's kind of a thing to show. Okay, thank you. Okay, maybe we, we can't quite see, maybe we can zoom out a little bit, maybe again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. If it's a big, it's easy to out of focus, I guess. I mean, out of the screen. 
Oh, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we can see that. We can see that. It's wonderful. Thank you. I mean, we see, uh, this is reminding me of th this design, this pattern is also reminding me. We have uh, here at Japan House in, in, the, in the shop, we have uh, tenigui, uh, wow. hand towels, with one of them has a design of, of exactly like this, of a, of a, of a fishing net uh, really? across the, the whole of the, of the fabric. Mm. And it's reminding me of that very much. It's effective, isn't it? Something which seems quite rough, in fact, creates. Yeah, maybe sometimes anger, but not directly to say, you, you understand. Okay, should, should we have a look at, thank you. Should we have a look at the full, the full picture? Maybe we can. Uh, yeah, completed the version. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, as you say, this can show maybe jealousy or anxiety, worried about something, jealous, uncomfortable feeling, usually. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, next one is Tatesen, is mm -hmm. vertical line. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's kind of using when somebody uh, usually shocked or anxious. So it's a bit different of that uh, uh, rope nawa, rope nai, right? Mm -hmm. But I think it's like uh, maybe the rope one is more ambiguous, like. Uh, something before making some shape. Mm -hmm. But this is more like a, a clear disappointment or anxiety or like it's kind of done something. And chinoke ga hikutte nante you? Faint, like uh, your blood is kind of down and pale and yeah how do you describe it in english oh the 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 the, the blood rushes away from your face or... yeah 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 that is a main kind of uh, effect i guess okay so it's also quite a uh, negative atmosphere okay so shall i start to um it's used as a back is it used as a background is it as a yeah a... yeah but I think sometimes using uh, on the actual drawing, like a bit side, if somebody kind of shocked or something, you know, um, I can show you when I just to do demonstration. Yeah. So like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, think I, like I use this, the, like uh, if somebody, have some shocked or kind of uh, not fainted actually, but emotionally uh, problem. Um, oh, where is my pen? Yeah, here. You know, not the only, not only back. You can do this uh, line like. Uh, so this one we use a lot. Have you seen this, Simon? Yes, I think so, yes. Yeah. Okay, so for the back. Okay. I use another one. <laughs> Your Iron Maiden character, who is this? Uh, this is uh, called Tsugumu. He Tsugumu. doesn't speak so much. I mean, he's not, uh, he, it's not he can't speak, but uh, he never ever talk on my, um, on my manga. So so he's also not so, how do you say, uh, expression on his face is not so strong. He always like this, but he really likes heavy metal music. <laughs> so the, the, his t-shirt in, is indicated that. 
it's not I am maiden, I am madam. Mm -hmm. So it's a slightly <laughs> different, not to, you know, clear the copyright. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, before the line, I also like uh, uh, London, uh, how do you say it? Rough. Can we zoom out a little bit, maybe? So yeah. Uh, maybe to be the whole the whole thing, yes, just a little bit so that yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just to uh, you know, random line to the uh tatesen not kind of become bumpy. Okay, so that's the end. That's going to be the end of your end of your line. Yeah approximately it doesn't need to be so straight mm -hmm. yeah this also quite how do you say very detailed work so sorry just to... yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah, using same uh, marupen, very fine kind of uh, line I can make by this. By using the ruler here, um, we have a question from Richie um, saying, hello, um, how, how does, does the ink dry very quickly? Do you need to worry about the ruler smudging the ink? Um, uh, yeah, because uh, I think I use, uh, you know, this one is some angle. You can see this. Uh, how, how can I see? So it's kind of, uh, it's surface, but also uh, some kind of, uh, uh, maybe this? Yes, indeed. I mean, in, in, in rulers, if you look at rulers carefully, there'll be a, a sloping side, which you can use for a pencil. And yeah. On the other side, you've got this slight take taken away from the, from the yes, corner. Yes, angle, so it's not much even you draw the line by ink. And also, maybe you must be careful how much ink on a pen. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a good question, Richie, thank you. Um, if you have a look at a ruler, you will see a, a, a good ruler should have one side for, for, for being able to do this with, with a, a nib and ink. The, the, another part of that, the question here is, is, uh, is what do you call, what, what ink do you, do you use for, for this? Oh, I see. It's the uh, ink for not specially manga. It's shokenyo. I think it's uh, for using some making document, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it's a kind of uh, ink. It's dry quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's not for specially manga. Sure. So exactly, draftsman's ink and, and, and the like. This is These yeah. are things which, have, which would have been used up until not very many years ago, quite regularly, um, still found, but but mainly in artist shops. Thank you, Philip has written to say we we're talking about the ruler, the beveled edge. Exactly. Thank you very much for the for the for the term. That's the name. The beveled edge. So beveled. the bevel for, of, oh. edge of the of the ruler. Thank you. Uh, another question we have here: When you if if you, if you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Do you use liquid paper to, to the white liquid paper, or do you use something different to to, to cover up the mistake? Uh, yeah, I use uh, this one. It's for manga. I think it really depends on the uh, kind of combination with ink. Sure. I think this is, uh, how do you say it is, uh, Taisui say is protect the water. So it's not melted with ink. 
but depends on the uh, ink maybe melt so you must uh, use a tiny bit use before actual use i guess indeed yeah so that it doesn't mix and become yeah sometimes yeah. I, I i yes i can remember this as well from 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 several years ago that sometimes the white might mix with 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 ink and, and mm. become gray and and you make more of a smudge than than yeah. correct it sounds like uh, simon you did drawing manga secretly <laughs> well i didn't do manga but my, my father was a calligrapher so I... I i and i grew up in a in a in a house where ink and pens and drawing boards and and really? wow. and, and graphs with blue lines on and and pots of of white paint in order to be able to to rub out mistakes that had oh. been made if they, before they went for printing and things like that so so even you haven't made manga you know the basic knowledge <laughs> i know about the tools and how to use them, maybe. Uh, but no, I, I, I never, I never, I never did manga. Would it be possible to zoom in? Yeah. Please, please. Maybe have a look to see just how fine that is. Thank you. I see. You know, this line also you can make the uh, uh, space between line and line is bigger or smaller. Okay, thank you. We've got several questions coming in, and we sh should we go to the completed completed drawing? Yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was I was enjoying watching the process. Actually, I must have. Yeah. Yeah. Here we have the completed drawing. Yeah. So this is the completed version. And if you could just remind us what what atmosphere this 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 completed drawing shows us the the, the tatesen. Yeah, it's, you know, if you see that is, uh, you know, I use the same basic drawing, the same expression on the face. So you can see the difference. So you can choose, depends on the context, which one you want to use for the frame. We have a comment here saying your lines are so satisfying. This Thank you. <laughs> Do, do you do any line practices before you start drawing? Do you, do you, do you? Uh, I mean, the Fitch, Fitch line is the effect line or basic I, drawing? Or? I, 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 it, it doesn't specify that in the question, but I, I suppose, do you, do you practice, do you, before you start to, to draw with no. using the pen, do you, do you, do you, like exercise, do you do you oh, move with by draw, by drawing lines? I don't think so. I mean, to make the you know character, you must make the character stable when you draw. So I draw by pencil, like uh, before starting something new. But after that, it's just a drawing because if you have a deadline, not so much time for practicing itself. It's kind of actual work is practicing. Understood. But uh, I do draw a lot by pencil, generally. Understood. I'm, I'm just thinking as well, maybe from, from that question um, about, about practicing in, in, in calligraphy, for example, in, 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 in brush calligraphy in, in China, Japan, and, 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 and Korean calligraphy, you have, there's also the, 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 the idea that the first touch of the ink onto the paper as well has a certain amount of energy from, from the artist or from, from the, so by practicing, sometimes you take away that, 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 that essence, that, that strength that you might have right initially at the beginning, maybe. Who knows? 
But you mentioned before about writing sutras, for example. Sutra writing is is quite therapeutic. Oh um, uh, yeah, yeah. Using a brush and and the repet the repetition of of line that that goes through. So yeah, it's it's a kind of practice and and, and almost yeah. Like but I think it's uh, usually somebody want to make a uh, manga. They like drawing, so they do generally. I guess. Okay, thank you. We have a, a question from April. Um, do you think of new drawing techniques to express emotions or do you stick to the same ones? Uh, if it's uh, something effective for your drawing, I, I will try. Like, uh, for example, okay, this frame, maybe I will use a brush, not pen. And if it's working, I will use that. I mean, if it's working, it's okay, but if it doesn't work, I must write again, I must draw again. That's some um, kind of uh, quite open for new technique if I get that. Okay, thank you. We have a question here, this is quite complicated, I think, maybe. Wow. <clears throat> so this is from Jay and um, I'll, I'll, read, I'll read what, the, the, what Jay says. A cultural concept seemingly known worldwide is of the Japanese ideology and aesthetic, a term referred to as ma. Okay, so ma. Ma. Oh, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Belief that the idea of less is more and that the negative space within a, within a drawing, for example, is, is, can be used, utilized to, 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 to effect. So the question is, do you think that manga, as a unique art form, draws upon this idea with the influences of Zen Buddhism, Shinto, and such cultural beliefs that seem to permeate, I think, throughout Japanese society? Um, contributes, does it contribute to and infuse the work with this sort of esoteric knowledge where there are <laughs> words although much communication through visual imagery and insinuation and meaning. That's, yes, okay. So do you think, um, in short, that manga is, I think maybe essentially East Asian in its, in its idea of using ma? Yeah, I think I have a conscience about ma because, um, we try to kind of see the meaning of something not to be so clearly shown. Like uh, ma is very, very, ma is something in between. It's quite important things. And also, you know, we also try to express about sound of silence. It's very Japanese kind of expression in a way, this sound of silence because silence doesn't have a sound, but we want to make sound. Y you understand these kind of things? Yes, absolutely. And, it, and it's a specific part of Japanese aesthetics, um, mm. I think. Yeah. It, it, yes, I, I suppose as, 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 a, as, a, as somebody from Japan, you, you, are, you, are, you are aware of this in, in naturally uh, growing up it's something that becomes yeah i think i think like uh, you know when i actually draw something i don't have any clear conscious about those things but like like somebody ask us like uh, this question ask about that like i think oh maybe i have that feeling so maybe we have that without conscious. Absolutely, yes. A cultural transference of some kind about what's around you mm -hmm. um, as, as we, we take things in. Thank you. I mean, I have a slightly different answer um, in, in that I, I, you know, I, I also see, I also see manga as, as very much like a, like a film mm. uh, story, like, uh, which, which I, which I think we is, is essentially a part of you know, of, of, of non-Japanese cultures as well. And, and, and 
I, I can see similarities in a way. I, I'm always a little, a little conscious of trying to orientalize something like that. But but you're absolutely right as uh, that, that it's there, isn't it? This sound of silence. Yeah, That's but also like you said, is the film also really kind of big influence to Japanese manga because uh, the people before me when like, uh, you know, Tezuka Osamu or, you know, Fujiko Fuji or Ishinomori Shodaro, they, are, they watched a lot of film I heard. Mm. And they kind of thinking about, they try to get that those idea from film to manga. So, you know, this kind of storyboard things also, it's quite similar to storyboard for film. Mm, and also cool. when I make a storyboard, it's like my character moving in my head and the fitch angle I will use or fitch movement I will use. So it's really like uh, making film is quite similar situation. It's, uh, you know, it's a different from process like uh, we do editing before filming, you know, like I said. But uh, it's very, very similar kind of m media, I guess. It, yeah, there's a dynamism in, mm. in manga, which, which is similar, I think, to, to film. In so like, uh, in a way, we have a both of them, that kind of very uh, active moving things. Also, like a Zen, Buddhism, like, uh, you know, philosophical things behind that. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. We, we have a, a, calm, uh, a question from Kinjiro, um, mm -hmm. who was reminded when, when I was talking about the calligraphy, for example. Kin, Kinjiro's question is, um, I wonder if the Japanese fude, the brush, mm -hmm. instead of pens, can be used to make any specific effect? Um, I... I think it's possible, but uh, I I don't know how to do that. But some people using main drawing line by uh, brush, not effect. Mm. But I think you can use, you know, uh, brush as effect, brush line like an effect, I guess. Like that. maybe you can make pattern and put behind that. So mm. it's, anything you can invent. Mm. I, th I suppose it's also what you find you can control well, well is, is it not? Do, do, do you use a brush or do you always use a pen? I always use a pen. Brush is just a painted black. Okay. Ah, for filling in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. When I do analog data, I mean, analog manga, mm. I don't do that. I just on a, you know, computer, just a paint in. Okay, thank you. We, we have a, a, a question about, um, from Mariana, um, about working with your assistant. Um, do you train or practice together with your assistant? Because your style should be the same or very similar, I guess. How did you select your assistant? And was it oh. easy? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, the situation is I didn't have an assistant at the moment before. And uh, I think I become more busier. So I think I mean, maybe I, it's a time to have an assistant for myself. And uh, I don't know anybody about doing assistance. So luckily my friend's girlfriend at the time is a manga artist assistant and uh, I asked her to come to my place and to do, and she came. So that is a beginning and uh, it's continuous till now. <laughs> uh, wonderful. We, we have another question actually from about the, uh, uh, your relationship, I suppose, with, with, with the assistant that you, mm. that you have. It's from Robert and he says, hello, Kiriko-san, super interesting session so far. Thank you. Uh, thank you as well. Very sweet. Um, it's a, it's a kind of contextual question, he says. I think you mentioned earlier that your system, her system has worked for you for 30 years or so, inking the sort of lines that you're, you're teaching today. Is it typical in mangaka culture 
to remain in an assistant role for such a, a long time without uh, graduating or becoming a, 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 a fully fledged mangaka? Or is it difficult for someone to work as both an assistant um, with someone more experienced while they work on their own material and maybe have their own assistance in the process? So, yes, um, I think it, yeah. in, your, in, your, in your case, it, does your assistant work as an assistant or does she do her own work as well? Uh, I think it's more, I think like uh, you said or he said is some people uh, doing assistant also try to become a cartoonist, them, I mean manga as themselves. But some people can continue to be a kind of professional assistant. And uh, in our case, my assist assistant doesn't uh, have so much kind of hope to become a professional mangaka, okay. I guess. Yeah, it's also the, okay, thank you. It, there's a similar process, isn't there? I mean, a division of labor within, within printing processes, both in Japan as well, but in, in, in many other manufacturing scenarios throughout the world where one, one, one role is, is to, to, to maybe the artist, another role is to the, to the, to the carver, another role is to the uh, suri, uh, to, the, to the, the, the inking person. Yeah. And, and, and those, the, they, they stick to those particular roles. There, there's a similarity there, I think. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, oh, a lovely comment from Anna, thank you. Um, Anna says she works in a children's hospital Oh. And, and she's she's very happy to hear that you've done work. Will you do other work in more hospitals? Uh, in this moment, I just continue to work uh, inside of St. Thomas division. I mean, still uh, the new, pro uh, new project coming. But uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, one work for another one, but it's gone. So it didn't happen yet. Okay. So if there's if there's anybody out there wanting wanting Kiriko-san to maybe help them with <laughs> in a hospital, please please let us know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm working with company, so maybe soon that the company is more easier. <laughs> oh, thank you. I think it's probably time for us to to wrap up now. We have one. This is a lovely. Thank you for for sending this through. Um, this is interesting, um, says, says uh, our, our, our questioner. I use Clip Studio Paint for effects, and it makes me realize some of the effects would be more interesting if I made them myself. Mm. At the moment, I use mostly the ready-made effects, which mm. are plain, such as concentrated lines. I don't use the effects that rely on cross-hatching, as it ends up not fitting with my art. I have one scene where students approach the teacher's room and I'm not yet sure what effect to use to show they are feeling apprehensive or fearful because they have never been inside. So an effect like Nawa Ami would fit perfectly. Oh, good. <laughs> there you go, wonderful. Thank you very much indeed. I, it, it's been, it's been a, uh, to quote, a super interesting uh, experience today. Thank you so much, uh, Kiriko-san, for sharing your knowledge and your talent uh, and being so generous with your time and allowing us into your studio. Thank you so much. It's, um, it's the second in, in this series. So if you've been joining along at home and you've, you've made something, please do... Um, send your, your, your works to us on, on social media using the hashtag Japan House London, hashtag manga, and hashtag museum from home. I, I should also say, if you are, you are creating manga, uh, Kiriko-san, you are a, a judge for the Manga Jiman competition, I know. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> every year for a uh, new uh, manga car. Uh, and that's held by the Embassy of Japan. And you can look, find uh, the, on the Embassy of Japan website, you can find how to enter uh, that particular competition, Manga Jiman. Uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, competition for, for people to, to, to show what they can do. Uh, one of our 
participants earlier who, who sent through the question, of course, was, was, was a winner of one of those manga jiman competitions. So thank you very much for coming to us today as well. I'll just say what we've got coming up at Japan House. Um, your last, the third of this series of three online masterclasses with, with Kubo-san is on Wednesday, the 12th of August, same yeah. time. Yeah, uh, yeah. 11 o'clock. Uh, we look forward to that. Thank you very much. On Monday, the 10th of August, we have a studio visit and a conversation with uh, a makie and kintsugi uh, craftsman in Kyoto, Shimode-san. Um, that will be wonderful as well. He has lots of wonderful ideas about, about, about how makie, this, 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 this fine drawing on lacquer and, and the aesthetics of, of Japanese art. Very, very interesting conversation coming up there. Japan House is open on the ground floor only at the moment. Uh, we are welcoming visitors uh, and, and guests are, are, are encouraged to book online before coming through. We have a brand new installation uh, which will start from the 5th of August uh, called Renovation, Kimono and Sustainability, uh, work by the textile artist Takahashi Hiroko from Tokyo how she, she, she uh, upcycles old kimono. Uh, and very interesting indeed. So please do come along and visit that. And we can announce as well that on the 19th of September, we are planning to open our exhibition uh, in Japan House on the lower ground floor. We've of course been closed uh, throughout recent months. Uh, we're excited to be opening again on the 19th of September for, for the exhibition. It's called Architecture for Dogs. It's a collection of works by notable uh, architects and designers, many of them Japanese, uh, all of them taking a playful look at new architecture for dogs and how humans and dogs interact together. So all dog lovers and design and architecture lovers out there, please do come and see that as well. Thank you very much. Kiriko-san, thank you so much again. It's been well, wonderful. Thank you very much from me too. And uh, thank, thank you for your time. No, thank you very much. And thank you to everybody who joined us. Um, we look forward to seeing you again. Um, everybody stay safe and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye-bye. Uh, see you soon.